Hello world, I'm an average Joe and I play games, and welcome to my Ask Me Anything 1,000 subscriber special. So we hit 1,000 subscribers about 10.30 or so on Thursday night, and so here is the special, this is for you guys. So let's, uh, enough with the flowery uh, language and everything, I pre you guys know I appreciate your support and all the, the love and comments that you guys give me each and every video. So let's get into some of the questions that you are wondering about. So FWC Scream wants to know, how old am I and what do I do for a living? So I am 30 years old and I am a software engineer. I've been a software engineer for about six years or so. And uh, more specifically, I am a software architect. So that's kind of a step up from a software engineer. What I do is I design the software and then other people code it. So I actually don't write very much code. I review a lot of code and I make sure that, uh, that the designs that uh, that we come up with meet all of the different customer requirements. My specific focus is on security, privacy, and compliance with regulations. And from Twitter, Half Slab Nation wants to know, do I have any kids? Uh, yes, I do. I am married. I have a four-year-old little boy and a one-and-a-half-year-old little girl. So I am between job and hanging out with the wife and the kids. I am very busy, which is why I don't post every day. I, I try to keep, keep to a three or four week a video schedule, but my job, my kids, my family, those are my, uh, my first priorities, not in that order, obviously. Family comes first. So uh, every now and then I'll miss a video that is because, you know, stuff comes up with the family or whatever, have to, have to take care of things around the house. Miniature Barbarian wants to know, who are my favorite YouTubers? Well, my favorite YouTuber of all time is Onslaught. He's one of the older YouTubers. He's not really active anymore, but uh, he was one of the, he was among that first wave of gaming YouTubers, you know, before gaming really got big on YouTube. Very, very entertaining dude. And I really liked him because he was relatable. He had a job, he, you know, he was married, uh, he had a baby towards the end and I could relate to him a lot of the the youtubers out there now you know they're full timers or you know they're 10 years younger than me and so I I have a hard time relating to a lot of them you know when you know they'll uh, you know drifter will complain about getting up at you know one o'clock in the afternoon you know not picking on drifter you know he seems like an all-around great guy but I I can't relate to somebody that uh, doesn't have to get up till one o'clock in the morning I, I simply can't and uh, Barbarian also gets a, the award for the oddest question asked is if I had to choose between changing genders every time I sneezed or pooping myself every time I coughed, which would I choose? This one is pretty easy. I'll go with the sneezing because I usually sneeze in pairs. So I'll usually, so if, uh, if that was my uh, superhero power, I would switch back, uh, back to being a male pretty quickly. Um, and I think I would make a pretty ugly female, but uh, but that's that's probably just uh, just my opinion. And that cookie dough, which I love that YouTube name by the way, uh, asks a bunch of questions. He wants to know what my real name is. Sorry guys, I'm not going to share my real name for for privacy reasons. And uh, he wants to know why I started making YouTube videos. Well, it's really because of the, related to the last question, is around entertainment and YouTubers that I can relate to. To be honest with you, I, I'm not terribly entertained with a lot of the YouTube content that's out there. So I could sit there and complain about it, or I could do something about it. And I decided to do something about it. So hopefully I am entertaining to you guys. I try to be a down, and that's really the, the entire reason why I chose the whole average Joe persona is you know trying to be as relatable as possible, just kind of being that average guy that's just running a YouTube channel. I'm I'm not a beast at gaming. I'm you know not the, the best gamer in the world. Um, I'm, I'm just an average guy that logs on, plays an hour or two each night, and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully entertains you guys. So that's why I started doing this whole YouTube thing. 
my goal for the end of 2015, so I am assuming you mean uh, with YouTube. So I don't really have subscriber goals um, or, you know, view count goals or whatever. I never thought that I would hit a thousand and here we are. So, you know, based on kind of my growth profile, I'll probably be around 2,500 by the end of the year, um, which would be you know, a pleasant surprise, but, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, you know, really, I, I just want to entertain you guys. And so that's, uh, that's my goal. My favorite console, well, I play on the 360 a lot. Um, if you asked favorite console of all time, probably the Super Nintendo. I was really, you know, I was five and six when the, we got the, the original NES. And so I was really too young to really game a lot, but we got the Super Nintendo when I was eight or nine. And so I really kind of came of age with gaming with the Super Nintendo. And if you ask me some of my favorite games, they would be for that platform. And will I upload any other games? Um, yes, actually I did a straw poll and I'm kind of going back and forth um, between either Skyrim or State of Decay. Um, you guys can kind of uh, let me know which one you would prefer that I do, but I'm thinking about doing it as kind of a casual commentary, just kind of live com and, uh, you know, kind of see, see what happens, see, you know, what we can kind of talk about and uh, do it in a way that doesn't uh, jeopardize any of my Destiny content. So maybe like a Sunday upload, which means, you know, adding an extra video to the week, I'll, you know, some, some weeks I may not be able to upload it um, you know, a, another game because you guys love Destiny and that's what most of you guys are here for. So that's what will take priority on the channel. And Ryan wants to know, will I ever upgrade to a PS4? Yes, I will be upgrading to a next-gen system. I haven't decided Xbox One versus PS4. I think I would prefer the PS4, but the the thought of starting Destiny all over again just kills me. I mean, I have a, a decent collection of exotics. I have a level 32 Warlock, level 30 Titan, 27 Hunter. It would it would really kill me to uh, to start over from scratch, but, but I might do that. And uh, playing with subscribers, I love playing with subscribers, and uh, I'm actually going to be doing some team challenges coming up. So follow me on Twitter because I will be tweeting out when I am picking up subscribers to play in a team-based challenge. So if you want to be here on the big screen in one of my videos, follow me on Twitter and uh, and keep up with it. Usually it'll be a Friday or a Saturday night that I'll pick uh, pick you guys up, and we'll try to complete an impossibly hard challenge. And uh, thank you for the congratulations. And the Fallen Block wants to know, what is my favorite book? And I'll be honest with you, this one made me think more than any of the others because I used to be a, a bigger reader than I am now. I just don't have the time to read right now, to be honest with you, but I enjoy reading. But I, I wanna get you know my most out of books when I read them, so I really like books that cause you to think. So because of that, I'd probably say either Fahrenheit 451 or 1984. So I prefer kind of the science fiction genre, and a lot of those will, you know, kind of make you think about, you know, the future and society and, you know, could, you know, the apocalyptic future described in some of those books actually happen and how do we go from how would we go from here to there and it really kind of makes you think about uh you know society and you know kind of our place in it and makes you self-reflect so those are my those are kind of my uh, my favorite types of books and uh, those are a couple of examples of ones that i've read of that that kind of genre and Evan asks, what made me want to do destiny well i didn't get destiny with the the plans of uh Putting it on YouTube, I was actually a. I started out as a Call of Duty commentator and did not have very much success because Call of Duty is uh, somewhat dying and the market is really oversaturated. There's a ton of Call of Duty YouTubers, so I bought Destiny just as kind of a change of pace from Call of Duty, and I bought it because I figured it would be a successful video game. You know, Bungie has a you know a really good track record with Halo. Activision has a really good track record with Call of Duty. So, you know, I figured it would be a good game and got it. I enjoyed it. And then I saw that not a lot of people were posting videos about it. So I started doing it and it took off. MG Gaming wants to know, do for my prediction series, do I predict on the fly or do I record or do I 
uh, plan before I do my recordings. So I do plan out what I'm going to predict. I'll usually, usually about Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll start thinking about my uh, prediction video. Well, I have to Wednesday because I record it Wednesday. But usually kind of, you know, throughout the day is, you know, I'm kind of doing what I, I'm doing throughout the day. I'm usually thinking about the channel and what's coming up next. And usually, you know, around Tuesday or so, I'll start thinking about, you know, what has Zer not brought to the tower or what has kind of happened in the life of Destiny recently that may, uh, you know, may influence some of what he brings, especially now that we know that Zer is not as random as Bungie would like us to believe. And Joe wants to know, well, well, great name, by the way, Joe. Um, so Joe wants to know, uh, would I ever be interested in joining Planet Destiny? And I actually really like what Planet Destiny does. I think that they have a lot of insightful, thoughtful uh, articles and videos that they are producing. They really kind of, you know, talk about the the meta and the, the culture behind Destiny. And I like kind of, you know, bringing it up to that, that next level anyone can talk about, you know, gun stats or, you know, loadouts and things like that. But as you know, I, I get a little philosophical on this channel and I like, um, uh, like seeing other people do that as well. Would I ever join an affiliate program? Uh, maybe, you know, obviously I'd, I would have to look at some of the, the business parameters around it, but if it made good sense for, for my, uh, my channel and, you know, really kind of increased my reach and, offered some good opportunities, I would not be opposed to joining an affiliate program. Next up, do I think Golden Gun should be buffed in PvE? Um, you know, Dietrich, possibly. So, you know, Golden Gun is really useful for taking out smaller ads and generating a ton of orbs. And so that's, that's what I see Golden Gun being used for a lot. Now, I'm I play with the hunter the least, so I'm not not a full expert here. But against bosses, um, it probably could be buffed slightly. Um, you know, maybe like a 10% damage buff um, per shot on bosses, because I have noticed that when you do golden gun a boss, it doesn't deal as much damage as you you probably like. And Mike says that I should come up with a name for my fan base, such as uh, PewDiePie has the Bro Army. And I thought about this one a lot. And what about Average Nation? What do you guys think about that? You like a? Uh, would you like a uh, being called Average Nation? So let me know in the comments if that is uh, is something that we should institute as a as a tradition on the channel, or if uh, if there's another suggestion that you guys have. I, I look forward to hearing what you guys think. And the last question is from Aaron. Aaron, however you, I apologize if I mispronounce your name there. Um, so he asked a trio of questions. What's my goal as a YouTuber? Already covered that. Um, I want to just be entertaining and be relatable. He also asked a uh, how am I doing today, uh, March 2nd, 2015, which that's the, the date that I posted the the Ask Me Anything uh, video asking for your questions. And that, that was a pretty good day. I worked that day. I think it was a Tuesday. So, um, so yeah, it was a pretty average day um, for Average Joe. And lastly, he wants me to post a selfie. You know, I'm really on the fence about this one. I know some YouTubers have never done a face reveal, like Xbox Ahoy has never done a face reveal. So since I'm on the fence, we'll let the drama rise and the tension mount just a little bit longer. But anyways, guys, thank you for joining in to my 1,000 subscriber special. Follow me on Twitter, hit that subscribe button, do all that good stuff, and we will see you in the next game.